All right, check it out. So my first video set the precedent. I have to play music before I start a recipe every time. All right, done deal. Today I wanna um, show you guys how I make uh, perfume or cologne. This time I'm making cologne. It's from this awesome book by Melissa Pepping. I'm making cologne for my husband. Um, I had him stop using the toxic cologne that he was using and he's, you know, he's done with me. He needs uh, something to use. So I'm getting ready to go in, dive in and make this. These essential oils that make up the scent of the cologne or perfume, whatever you choose to make, are phenomenal. I never really expected an essential oil to be able to translate into a perfume or a cologne until I realized that it's usually scents from essential oils that started the build of a perfume or cologne until they got into a laboratory and started recreating these scents and is what most people are using today if you're buying a bottle out of you know a department store. So this cologne is called Liaison. I'm using the oils I have today. There are some probably really awesome uh, recipes in here that I just can't make because I don't have the oil. So we work with what we have and that's just the way it works. So I'm getting ready to show you how I make this and you'll have to bear with me because it requires several drops from each of these particular oils. Right now I'm throwing in some bergamot. All right, next up, geranium. Next up, cedar wood. I love cedar wood. I have a cedar sauna in my house and I, I just, I love it. Okay, next we're gonna use a copaiba. This is like, this is a precious oil right here. Unfortunately, I'm about to drop some in my husband's cologne, so he's going to get all the support from this. All right, next up is vertiver. This is a pretty thick oil, so I'm hoping that I can get it to flow out of here a lot quicker than slow. I guess we're gonna find out. The anticipation, holy smokes. Come on, vertebra. Man, that's like liquid gold. Sheesh, that took a long time. <laughs> All right, and lastly is black pepper. Yes, black pepper. That was a real loose oil. All right, now no. guess what the secret ingredient is? Vodka. Who doesn't want vodka? All right, I'm gonna measure out an ounce because that's all that'll probably fit into this little bottle. And I will siphon it in there. Vodka helps to keep it all combined. You'll still have to shake this every day but generally what uh, cologne or perfume or perfume companies will use is something more toxic to keep the ingredients combined but vodka does the job all 
I always like to look and make sure I know where I'm at in my bottle. And since this is a black bottle, it makes it just a little bit challenging. I can probably finish this out. Yep, so we're gonna finish that out with one ounce of vodka. Put the lid on, shake it. And again, every time you use this, you're gonna have to shake it. Let's see what it smells like. It's my first time making this one. It smells manly. I think he'll like it. <laughs> All right, 